Boom, peace intro. What's up, guys? Well, time to do the sticker drawings. Finally, Sunday. Doing drawing number five and drawing number six for the um, blue RLC Camaros. Two of them. Two separate drawings. Sorry it took so long, guys. I've never taken this long. Um, I hate wait, making you guys wait like that. Um, anyway, I also wanted to thank all you guys for always supporting the sticker drawings. And um, on these two drawings here, actually it was 12 of you guys. Just, I mean, a lot of you guys has played, but these guys here almost always play. And... Um, a couple, you know, a couple extras here, and some of the guys that, I mean, there's a lot of you guys that always play too that didn't get on this one, and all, but I thank all of you as well, but this one here, I'm going to name you guys, Mr. Steven Spahar, Paul Proust, Judson Osgood, Steve Young, Miniature Mustangs, Tom Ellingson, Neil Cummings, Gary Slintz, Tom Brown, Meat Butcher, Kevin Kennedy, McNasty, and Larry Keebler. Those 12 guys bought all tickets for these two drawings. And uh, so anyway, on these drawings, we're going to do the normal first place. Then I'm going to do the runner-up, which will be one of these. I have the Snake and Mongoose, and I have the Chevelle. We'll see which one goes to which as I do them here. <clears throat> and then those can go to the same person, same number. But then I'm going to go do a third one for because um and it'll be these two muscle machines which will go to somebody different on the list you know one per drawing and uh then at the end i took all 12 of you guys and i put put you on a list you see your name there's your number and this is just because i made you guys wait so long um I don't feel good about it. I want you guys to know I appreciate you supporting me all the time. Um, but I have this. We're going to do a, a pull a number up. And I have this Fast and Furious set. A lot of you may already have it. But I'm going to go ahead and give it to whoever. Whichever one of them number 12. You know, one out of 12. Whichever one of you guys it is. We'll do that last. So. Anyway, um, like I said, I appreciate all you guys supporting me. I've got some more sticker drawings coming up. It makes it easy to put it back into here. And as you know, there's shipping and everything else. So it's not like it's a big profit game. I still have people emailing me, telling me how I'm making all this money, which is just crazy, guys. I think you guys know that. And, and another thing about it is why do you care? What do you, do you, how much do you think Mattel makes off of these cars they sell you at $25 a pop or whatever? I mean, it's really funny how, and I'm not trying to complain, I'm just talking about how people are. You can give and give and give, and people, a lot of people appreciate it. I'm not saying you guys don't, but there's those guys out there, they, they just, that's great. Oh, but if they think you're getting something, now they have a problem. I don't understand that. I want you to get whatever you get. I mean, if you're going around ripping people off, well, that's completely different. But I, I because you, I don't, I just don't understand it. I mean, it's like people that complain about little kids out there selling lemonade for two dollars a glass. So that little kid wants to go sit out there in their darn driveway in the hot sun and sell lemonade, and people want to buy it. Mind your own business. Don't buy it if you don't want it. That just always hurt. But anyway, I just respond to the emails. Guys, I'm not making money like you think I am. But I really want to say, what do you care? <clears throat> what do you care? It's the same thing. I'm not trying to harp on this. We're going to get to these drawings. But it's it was my point really about scalpers all along. We can complain about them forever. But in the end of the day, to me, they're just somebody I have to beat to the store if I'm going to find this stuff. It wouldn't be possible for them to do that if people didn't buy it. So since they buy it because, like, since the beginning of time, something that ain't worth anything to me may be worth all kinds of stuff to you. So one man's trash, another man's treasure, 
That's why people pay outrageous things for those. I mean, look at some of these paintings people buy. I wouldn't give $10 for them. So I'm $100,000 for this painting. Okay, now if I did, it'd be because I got it for $10,000 and I could sell it for $100,000. That would be the only reason. Because I don't care about that painting. That's why we have scalpers. So, like I said, it's the same thing. I can't be mad at the person for, for doing it. It sucks. But it is the way things are. So anyway, just wanted to mention that because yeah, I still get people that go out of their way to say stuff, and it's like, just don't, just don't, don't play. I'm not, I'm not begging you to play. I'm not, and I'm definitely not getting rich here. I mean, give me a break, man. But anyway, let's get going with this, and we'll start with the, uh, well, real quick. You know, the diecast day of giving is coming up. It's in October, I guess, and everybody's. You know, going to give cars. Um, I, I probably should make a better video about it, but I often drop cars off at places. Last, I think it was a year before last, or maybe last year, I sent a bunch of them to Dodson Man. I don't know, but um, I tried finding clinics that'll actually give the cars away to the kids because I want to make you guys aware of something in case you don't know. You might want to check and see and ask that question because some of these cars never land in a child's hand like you may think they do. I was I was just flabbergasted when I found this out at a hospital I gave cars to. I went into the hobby shop or not the hobby shop, the uh, gift shop later on and seen cars hanging, Hot Wheels hanging on the pegs. And when I asked about them, I was told they were donated. Now, I didn't say that, hey, I donated those because... I'm not the only one that donates cars to that particular hospital. But um, I said, donated? They said, yeah, we, you, they, we get cars donated to us from people. And I was like, well, that's pretty cool. But they're selling them in the gift shop, okay? Now, to me, whatever. I, okay, if it's helping the hospital, it's helping the hospital. I don't know. But to me, it messed up my whole vision of this car being handed to some little kid and him going, all right, you know? Because that's what I envisioned when turned out that was not the case at this place. So I, I would ask around before you just drop off all these cars and think that they're getting handed out to the child. And it's true, guys. Sorry. It is a rude awakening when you see it happen. But because um, there are some clinics that will say, yes, we will give those to cars. Some children's hospitals, we will save those and give those to children. Because... Um, You'd be surprised how many of them do not do that. You think you're doing good, and turns out you're really not. Well, I guess you are, but it's just not happening the way you think it is. So anyway, that's coming up. Anybody wants to go, you know, do that. But I guess it was, you, you're going to take them, and then you're going to report to a website or something about how many you gave. I don't know. Um, the only reason I would think about doing that was to help their numbers, I guess, because... A lot of you guys give, and it doesn't matter where it came from. It doesn't matter if I gave them 500 cars last year or not. It doesn't matter. All that matters is to them. So, <clears throat> I mean, I guess if you can anonymously get on a website and say something like, yeah, I, I don't know, just to help your numbers across the country or something, but I don't really want to get on there and say, yeah, I, James Hewlett, just donated 500 cars to a children's hospital over here on Blue Ridge Parkway. I mean, I don't know. So, guys, you know, it's just that time of year to do it if, you know, you know, it doesn't hurt to do it, and you don't have to tell anybody if you don't want to. But should you want to, you can go on that diecast day, diecast day of giving and, you know, note what you gave so they can tally it up and know across the country or whatever what everybody's done um and so anyway i thought i'd mention that but maybe i'll try to find some more information out about it but yeah i strongly suggest you ask them are these going to be handed out to the children because you may be surprised what you hear <laughs> and go what <laughs> i was i was flabbergasted when i seen them on the racks there and then was told they were donated a lot of items donated to hospitals and stuff are sold in gift shops. You'd be surprised. A lot of the stuffed animals, a lot of the other stuff. They buy a lot of stuff, but a lot of it is donated. And then they sell it in a gift shop. It's like, I, I gave that to you to give to these kids. Anyway, anyway, keep an eye out for that. So let's get going on the random number wheel. 
and I'm not sure I'm not really sure I'm looking at other wheels just in case I don't know if I don't know I guess I better stick with the same old one anyway there we are pulled up 1 to 30 of course there goes all the ads that constantly oh I don't want to see the ad constantly pop up but there we go let's see drawing number five who is going to be the first winner number 20 oh, would you look at that drawing number five number 20 is the meat butcher Number 20, winner. Drawing five. Meet Butchaw. Meet Butchaw has won an RLC. You know, and I have to say, guys, it, it's been a while since he um, got anything. So, where is he? Drawing five. Number 20. Yes, it is. It's the meat. Meat mucho. Winner. So, he'll be glad to know that done now we're going to do the runner up which i guess will be the snake and mongoose since it's on top and good luck to all you guys i mean you know how it goes whoa we jumped all the way over to number three <clears throat> number three is Judson Osgood. Hopefully he needs that. Number three. Runner up. Drawing five. Judson Osgood. Well, hope you want that, buddy. I know you wanted that RLC, but between you and me, I like them both, but I would gladly take these as well. <laughs> so, there you go on that. Now, let me write you down, number three, runner-up. Yes, yes, yes. Now, we'll do the awesome old Smokey. Sweet little muscle machine. This is just going to be a third place. I'm going to go ahead and do a third place, guys. But this will go to somebody that has not just won. Number 10. Number 10. Our good old buddy Neil Cummings. Third place. And again, Neil... Um, number, I don't know what that's all about. Drawing five, what was it? Number 10, number 10, drawing five, third place, Neil Cummings. Now, a lot of times he don't like to want to accept the stuff, and I'm not sure if he's going to want this, but I would think that he would like this. But it's not unlike him to say, give it to somebody else. So we'll see what happens, guys. But that's for you, Neil, should you want it. And she is a sweetie. But, of course, um, I'll have to find some more stuff to send to you because I cannot make myself pay $20, $30 just to send one car. Um, 
which UPS, whoa, last time I told you guys to start using UPS. I tried to use UPS to Canada last time and it was backwards. It was cheaper for me to go to post office. And now that they're striking, oh man, I don't even know I want to try UPS. I used them yesterday to send off a couple of packages. Not bad, eight bucks. Um, one was two pounds and um, the other one was one pound something, one pound, 10 ounce. So that would still be a two pound deal, but they were both eight bucks a piece. And that's for four days. It says three, but when I check tracking, it's showing four. It's like, what? But anyway, so they're, they're getting up there on shipping guys. I mean, I remember when I was paying $4 and 53 cents to send a car. Now it's about doubled. So anyway, there you go, Mr. Cummings. And don't say no, just because you don't want me to ship it. If you really want me to give it to somebody else, that's fine. But if you want it, just let it arrive. Just, just let it arrive, man. Just let it roll on in. Okay. So that one's done. I don't know what all these are. Oh, those were just crappy old emails. Okay. Now, got you done. Now we're on to drawing six. Starting again with another RLC Camaro. Boom! Again, guys, sorry it took me so long to do this. I still feel terrible. 22. I hope this makes up for it. 22. Sweet. Let's see who that is. Drawing 6, 22 is Mr. Judson Osgood. Drawing 6. Sorry if I mention it over and over, guys. I just got to constantly look and make sure I'm looking at the right sheet because I've got such a... I'm at, I'm at my custom building desk and, man, I got stuff everywhere. So it's easy to get these things put in the wrong spot. And then I'll say the wrong name and... You know, for, you know, and somebody will be like, hey, he's not 22, I'm 22. You know, so I, I got to make sure I look and make sure I got it right. And yes, drawing six for the R blue RLC Camaro, number 22 is Mr. Osgood. So he is the winner of that beauty. He is the winner of that beauty right there. Now, runner up on that is going to be this. I know it's not, I don't know, it's not as cool as Snake and Mongoose, but I like it. Hopefully whoever gets it will like it as well. And uh, so that runner up, that could be the same person on the second runner up. It's the third one that has to be a different person, so. Let's see who gets it. Twenty-seven. Oh, wow, now guys, I I just said that so you knew the rules. But seriously, number twenty-seven is Judson Osgood again. The dude just scored on this baby, didn't he? Now. I want to say something, guys, um, and I'm going to leave this up to you guys. I think I've asked this before, but I can't remember, but I've had some emails about that, and they're not mean. They're just suggestions. Um, drawing six. But um, Judson Osgood. Judson Osgood scored this as well. Here's what it is, guys. I mean, but now I want to mention, we'll do this third place real quick here in a second, but I've had some and people were, now first off, you guys know, there was no runner-ups ever intended on these sticker drawings. It's just the normal sticker drawing for the car I show. I added second and third place just out of generosity, kindness of my heart, whatever, just 
get, I want more people to win. I mean, and like I said, I don't keep profits. Maybe that's what a lot of these people don't understand is they think, oh, he's getting all these profits. Well, maybe I would if I kept all that money, you know, and I, and I, I didn't go buy more cars and just give them away. Like you don't even know, but I have another one of these RLCs that's just going to be given to somebody that's not even going to know. I'm just going to send it to them and they're going to get it in the mail. And this one isn't even going in a drawing or a comment picker. It's just a person I'm going to pick that I want to give it to and send it to them. It's really hard to do that, but I've got a few people I haven't gave nothing to in a while and I pick between them and I try to... Anyway, and if I can't figure that out and make that decision, then I will use the comment picker. But one of those cars is just going to be given away again. And I've already given away... So anyway, I don't need to keep going on about what I've given away. My point is that, sure, if I was just keeping all this money and giving you one car, I could see where you guys, I, I could be making some money on this. But I don't. I try to give it back. So that's what these extra cars are about. But anyway, some people suggested that the runner-up be an entirely different person as opposed to the first winner. I, I didn't do that. I did it with the third. I try to make the third one, if I do a third one an entirely different person, but I just, the runner up, I let the same person win. But I want to leave that up to you guys and mostly you guys that play all the time. You guys are the ones that play all the time. So it would be great if you'd tell me in the comments, if you're in the video this long, and let me know what you think I should do. Should I make the runner up? Because some people in the email, I understand what they're saying. They're saying they only play to win the car. So if they win the car, they shouldn't win the runner up. I, I get that. I understand what you're saying. But then I also look at it like they paid for the other spot that comes up. But anyway, I see both sides of it. So I do get where if it was the runner up was a separate person, then it gives more of you on the list that did buy a ticket a chance to have something too. In other words, when I when I gave away three like today, it would be three different people and all. But I'm, I'm fine either way with it because I usually make the third one a separate person. But you guys that always play, you know, and I may have missed some of you guys because you're not right here on my list, but I know a lot of you that play. But these guys, Mr. Pruce, Osgood, Young, Ellingson, Cummings, Slints, Brown, Meat Butcher, Kennedy, McNasty, Larry Keebler, Mr. Spahar. And there's more. There's a lot of you guys that play a lot. Um, uh, I'll recognize your name as soon as I see it in the comments giving me a suggestion. You guys let me know if you if you want me to do a different runner up. Like if you won the main prize, should I should you not get the runner up? If I do a runner up, should it go to somebody else or should I keep it the way I am? I'm going to leave that entirely up to you guys because uh, I do see and these guys ain't being mean, they're just making suggestions. And uh, I, but I do see both ways. I get what they're saying, but um, again, I look at it like you paid for the spot. But I already said it. You know what I'm saying. Let me know what you guys want to do, and that's what we'll do. So now, 27, 27. Judson Osgood, runner up, and that's not going to change this one. Judson Osgood get these guy. He's going to get that. We, we're talking about this for the future. Right now, it's I'm doing it the way I've been doing it. Um, so that's done. Now we're going to do this sweet little, I love, a lot of you guys don't like muscle machines, but I like them. But that sweet little baby right there. And, uh, and you know, that's another thing is these, if you find them in a the store, you can get them five, six bucks. But I keep getting these cool ones online and they're shoot, 10, $15. I paid 20 for some. So, um, they're a little more when you find them online when they first come out because you want to make sure you get it. I haven't seen any of these in the stores. Maybe you guys have, but, but anyway, that is just a nice looking truck. That'll go to a third place guy here. Let's see who it's going to be. Boom. Again, sorry to the guys that didn't win. I mean, that's another reason I try to give away so many things is I want more people to win. Um, number 11, Kevin Kennedy. Kevin Kennedy, I think he walked out and won last time. Now, honestly, Kevin Kennedy's played a few times. He doesn't play all the time, but it doesn't matter. If you guys play the sticker drawings, um, let me know 
what you want to do on this because I'm going to take the majority of what you guys say. So please say what you think I should do on that. Um, and where is oh see already got the wrong paper there but I'm right it was it's it's uh, Kevin Kennedy number drawing six number eleven is Kevin Kennedy third place. Number 11, drawing 6, Kevin Kennedy. Third place. Well, Kevin Kennedy, I hope you like this truck. And again, guys, if you already have any of these things, um, that doesn't mean that you don't have to get another. Just, just if you want it, take it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, it doesn't matter to me. You won. Um, and, and on the same hand, if some of you guys want me to give it to somebody else, you can say that as well. But to me, it's yours because you won it. So unless I hear different, it's coming to the address I have on you. But anyway, that is a sweet truck, Kevin. I love it. And uh, both of them are. Old Smokey's a sweet truck, too. But anyway, um, so that takes care of that. So like I said, guys, you just let me know about that in the comments. I really appreciate it. And now we're done with that. We're going to change this to number 12. Only 12 of you this time. Changed it to 12 because 12 of you is all that's on this paper, uh, which we will show again. There's your names and your number. And this is just because, like I said, I, I waited so long to, to do the sticker drawing and I just, I know I, was, I had a bunch of problems and things to do, but that's no excuse. I could have came down here and took 30 minutes, hour out of my day and done this, and I didn't. So, um, we're going to give away this. And the reason it's this Fast and Furious, you guys know I got Boulevard sets, but those were given to me by Mr. Cruz. And yes, I do pass them on um, to people, but I actually bought these. It's a $40 set, so I don't feel right putting what he gave me in my sticker drawing to give to you guys, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, so that's why it's this. So anyway, let's see who this is going to be. One out of 12. And it could be any, it could be Judson Ozood again, guys. This is a completely different drawing. I probably, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I'm not trying to give him good luck. I'm just saying that it could be anybody on this list. You're not, just because you won over here, doesn't mean you can't win here. Hopefully it's somebody else, but I. this is to reward all you guys for your patience and understanding. So anyway. And if he does, he should go buy a lotto ticket because it's a lucky day. Number eight, Tom Brown. Number eight. Winner, 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 baby back rib dinner. Ooh, I love them, I love them. Okay, random drawing. Number eight, winner, Tom Brown. All right, Mr. Brown, you get this Fast and Furious set. Right here. Hopefully you want it, because it's 
yours. So So there we go guys. Close that out. Again, sorry for the guys that didn't win. Congratulations to all you guys that did. And I do appreciate your patience and everything, and I appreciate your support for playing these sticker drawings for everybody, because it does help everybody. And um, it's, you know, it is what it is. It's pretty cool, I guess. But I got some more things coming. They're not here yet. Hopefully they'll be here next week, and then I'll get some more sticker drawing stuff up. I appreciate it. If I didn't mention your names from the sticker drawings, um, that have played. I'm sorry. I just went by what I had off of these two. I could have dug through my files and pulled out some more names because there's a lot of you. You don't always play, but I can't, you can't expect a guy to play every time. I mean, pretty much all you guys have played at one time or another. I mean, just so thank all you guys. Um, and I appreciate it. And sorry again to the guys that didn't win. And um, Well, don't know but there you go mr. Bruce that's what I told you you know sometimes it doesn't matter how many tickets you buy it's the one number that comes up so a couple of these guys bought a, a lot of tickets and their number didn't even come up so it's just the luck of the draw guys and that's just I'm saying that so that any of the guys that are always maybe depressed from seeing the same guy's number come up all the time because he buys so many stickers well that's what i tell you it's not a for sure thing guys it's not a for sure thing um like a matter of fact a meat butcher one right i believe he bought one yeah i think he only bought one sticker he may have bought two but yeah but again meat butcher butcher don't always you don't usually win he hasn't won so that's congratulations to you buddy finally got you an rlc for a sticker or two. I can't remember what you bought. Anyway, thanks again, guys. And uh, like I said, diecast day of giving. I'll try to do a better deal on that. But yeah, maybe ask them. Clinics, little clinics, little children's places, whatever. Ask them, do you literally give these cars to the kids? Because, uh, and I'm kind of glad I heard about it or I found out about it because I, I started thinking about the little girls and thought, you know what? I can get these little Barbie girls, these itty bitty little Barbies for like three bucks a pop. I, you know, I could buy 50 or 100 of those and give them to them with the car so the girls can get something too. Because a lot of girls don't want a car. And there's girls in there too. And then I just, and I don't know if I should feel bad about that or not, but I, I, cha I didn't do it when I found that out. Because I was afraid they're just going to turn around and sell them and they're not going to actually hand them to these little girls. And um, <clears throat> so... So these little clinics, small little children's places and all, they have a lot more chance of giving them. And again, your hospitals, you may ask them and they may do it. Um, I think uh, Rodney at RD Customs, I think he's giving them to the Shriners Hospital, which I'm pretty sure does give them to the kids. So I would just suggest making sure of that. Otherwise, you're going to be surprised if you see them in the gift shop hanging on a rack. And... Uh, but yeah, I thought about adding those, you know, because you can get these little, they're miniature Barbies. They're Barbie, but they're the small one, I guess, the child. And you can see them on sale for $2.99 all the time. You know, 100 of those, only $300. 50 of them is 150 150 ain't nothing for trying to help something like that. And that's 50 little dolls, you know. And I'm, so I'm, I will probably be adding those because it doesn't have to just be Hot Wheels. But anyway, um, it's going to a place I know is going to give them to the kids. And uh, because, like I said, a lot of them don't, guys. Don't be surprised to find that out. And here we are envisioning, oh, <clears throat> it's going to be awesome. This little kid's going to get this car. Go, oh, I love it. No, you're not. Little kid's never even going to see that car <clears throat> in a lot of places. So anyway, y'all take it easy. Peace. After again, I'm sorry I took so long. I'll try to make sure that don't happen again. And I do appreciate all you guys that do support this. And I, I, I know I got a list of customs to get done. <clears throat> um, they're already sold, not paid for, because I don't take prepayment. But I haven't forgot you. I just got to get my butt down here and get them done. So anyway, 
thanks again and uh please let me know you guys that play sticker drawings let me know what i should do about the runner-up thing should i make it a separate winner every time so that more of you on the list get a chance to get something or should i leave it the way it is now whatever you guys say the most is what i'm going to do so please give me your opinion but not to be rude but some of you guys that don't play at all that's totally fine but don't email me and tell me what I should do or something. I mean, I, I guess you can, but it's kind of weird. It's You don't even play. You don't even participate. So I don't necessarily not want to hear your idea, but I mean, a suggestion is one thing, but trying to tell me how I should do something when you don't even participate is completely crazy. So anyway. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, that's what we will do. Again, y'all take it easy. Peace. Outro.